Hello everyone and welcome back to the second gameplay of uh, second episode of the Let's Play series of Farming Simulator 20 and in today's gameplay I actually found another very small little tip or you may say trick uh, to earn some money when you start a new career so I did mention this trick in the form of a video when Farming Simulator 18 was out but uh, a lot of people maybe consider that i am about to tell something about some kind of ad or movie video so they just disliked that video so that was probably the most disliked video on my channel but yeah today i'm not only going to show you how this trick will work but i also i'm going to use that trick so yeah let's go now to use that trick uh, you need to first you need a tractor of course so I do have one and uh, then you need a tipper and the trick let me tell you about the trick so the trick is you need to sell uh, the crops that you have in your silos of course you don't need them anyway so you can sell those crops uh, to earn some money and you can use that money to maybe upgrade a tool or maybe buy something because uh, to be honest guys uh, this is the first time i am going to say something uh, it's not bad at all but it's part of the game but yeah the crop price is really such i mean you you can sell 8000 liters of uh, of wheat in just for just 3000 dollars that's all that's how much valuable your crops are so imagine making uh, 1 million it's almost you know it looks quite impossible uh, when you see at uh, the prices of the crops that you um, the price that that you get when you sell something so some crops are uh, even have some better prices but their yield is less so uh, this, this situation is same whether it whatever crops you do so we have uh, six thousand liters of uh, wheat and 9000 liters of uh, barley and uh, 12000 liters of oats and wow so 15000 liters of canola which is 9000 liters of uh, sunflower and 10000 liters of uh, soybeans corn 12000 and uh, potato is empty wheat is also empty and then we started with the wheat again so I'm not going to sell the <coughs> oats because I may uh, need them later when if I try to uh, yeah for some reason because the horses uh, needs the oats as well so and I'm not just keeping it for 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 some reason so yeah let's uh, fill this people and uh, let's try to sell these people somewhere so maybe it's better idea if I check prices in the prices tab so currently Big Joe's farmer market is probably offering us the most value of our canola so yeah we can go to the Big Joe's farmers market I know that place where that place is so yeah we can go there without any problem yeah let's go and uh, not to mention i'm uh, playing a game today on controllers so uh, if you are wondering where the speedometer is gone it's because uh, the ui is changing because of uh, i'm using controllers this game is so much fun to play with controllers uh, or maybe it's because i'm not used to the slider controls they are so unrealistic at the first place and uh, moreover uh, i don't know if any one of you will use those oh no <laughs> damn uh, that was a really bad crash right there by the way the traffic is you know really strange um the ai can't just wait for a while and just start using horns yeah that's that's really annoying so I'm using roads as uh, you probably know from the previous gameplay because these tractors move not only tractors but anything move way too slowly when uh, you drive them 
a little bit uphill or on, on a steep place that's why I'm using roads so that I could travel faster let me check how okay so we are going at 50 wow that's great 53 now wow never expected this track to be so fast okay so we are almost at the big joe supermarket almost by the way i'm going to repeat this process so don't worry i will um whatever i'm doing right now i will speed up this part only and then we will continue in our gameplay as usual so yeah there we go big joe supermarket i was actually planning to do some in-app purchases so that i could uh, get some better equipment but then i decided not to do that because in this way it won't help you and it won't make any sense because in let's play series it's my you can say it's my goal to um try to finish the game as soon as possible without doing any in-app purchases now this game I know uh, this is a simulation game and it cannot be finished but from finish I mean try to get all the high end vehicles as soon as possible without spending even a single penny or even a single cent in this game. Especially in this safe game. If you are <laughs> if you are going to uh, talk about the other reviews so I yeah I definitely did some in averages but that's for review purpose only. Uh, that account is not my real account this is going to be my real account for let's play cd so yeah that that really makes sense by the way so that's yeah that's sure i i won't do any in application it would be ridiculous and stupid thing to do so yeah uh as as i mentioned uh, as this is kind of a repetitive <laughs> repetitive things or I will probably speed up this video from here when I will be editing this video. Basically, well, what I am going to do is that I am going to sell all the crops that I don't need anyway, so that I could get some money. So you can see that I just, you know, got quite handsome amount of money. So canola, canola is still quite profitable crop in this uh, in this game, and uh, the second uh, profitable crop is the soybean, and. Uh, I cannot say about yeah oats are also a little bit you know uh, profitable or oats are also a little bit profitable but wheat and barley are they just you know although they have a good yield but um, the price is just uh, yeah they, they just don't and probably the best uh, the highest price is of cotton of course and uh, cotton is the most valuable crop in this game but it's very hard to get a single bale of cotton you probably need a quite a big field to just just get a one or two bales not two but only one bale of cotton because uh, yeah the i cannot say anything at this moment about the yield of cotton because I haven't played this game a lot so it's almost evening and it's almost night time so it would be good if I just did up some video here Drifting to play
Alright guys, so as you can see, I managed to make a lot of money from the trick that I used. So I don't know, maybe it, it can, you know, it can be a trip or trick for some people and some people would just, you know, go insane and dislike this video once again. I can't say anything about it. So um, let me see what's going on. Uh, okay, so this helper planted wheat on this field as well so what else we can do all right so we can plant nola on the next field that we have we have another field actually which is probably the biggest field we have so this is the probably the biggest field no 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 okay all right so and we are so we no no where is okay so we can change seed from here right now let's I'm I'm going to plant Nola here and uh, yeah that that will be your okay. as you can see there um d different crops have uh, different price values probably sunflower and soya bean are the go to crops as since i don't have the header which we can use to harvest the sunflower so i'm not going with the sunflower and uh, we could go with the soya beans but for some reason i decided to go with the canola we can plant um soya bean next time on the other two fields after in the next harvest okay so uh i'm still actually confused <laughs> what we do with the fertilizer how we manage to fertilize our crop that's a question as well because uh, you know you waste a lot of time and wait for quite a long time for your crop to be ready harvest and at the end you get less yield that's not true. okay crap i forget to move this uh zero since uh, after the update i for some reason i cannot sell my tools and i also cannot ride horses on my horses so i cannot sell this uh this zero right now what i can do meanwhile is that i can move this zero to somewhere else all right so that would work probably since uh, we don't have enough tools and equipment at this moment so we can park this uh, near our farmhouse but you guys can suggest me a good place if you see any good place in this map because my main focus is on driving to be honest so let me know if you find a perfect spot for parking tools and equipment for this moment i'm just parking them here near my fields okay just right there near this uh, small cultivator now we can continue planting the canola on that field so um, and also the wheat field is ready to harvest so you can see the very strange pattern of growing crops it's really strange and uh, we definitely need a new update it's currently you can plant just you know pop up from anywhere and uh, there is not there is not a proper pattern of crop sometimes they start uh, i mean here if you will see this error more often in the upcoming place all right so there we go once again you know what i think i should just go a little bit crazy while working because we cannot pull tools or fold tools really 
fall tools in falls actually. We cannot fall tools really quickly in this game, so we should definitely find a find a better way to deal with when you when you need to turn your vehicle. Because inside fields they just work fast. And when you try to turn them the speed of the vehicle reduce a lot like this you can see right here and now we we are going at about eight kilometers per hour which is not bad if we compare it with the real life but since this is a game so it's quite bad actually and the worst thing is that sometimes uh, yeah I don't think it, it will ever go below 8 km per hour especially on this field okay so what uh, I am going to hire a helper here meanwhile the helper will with the helper will deal with this harvester because for some reason I cannot drive this harvester fast enough. This harvester is just crazy and I really want to get rid of this harvester as soon as possible. I would like to buy the John Deere harvester uh, but I'm not in favor of doing an application. As soon as my game will be fixed I will sell the harvester. It's not a bad harvester, but yeah, it will need an update. It's physics is not as good as it should be. So yeah, I think we go a helper here. Oh, what are you doing here, Mr. Helper? So he's probably going for, he decided to, you know, cover this area first, which is good. Uh, we can okay so now. He will definitely need some for why I don't know why the braking distance of the vehicles is way really too much. Okay, so it's working now. Finally, <laughs> I thought I'm gonna miss some part of the field as well. So I sometimes play the game and you know and forgot that I have to do some commentary so that's why there are some gaps in my commentary hopefully it will be fixed because uh, usually I don't uh, speak, uh, speak for such a long time I just you know speak very less in my gameplay so it's, it's a kind of new thing for me and I'm learning so once again you can see we are getting all the 8 km per hour speed. Okay, so I I think I can fast forward this video once again from here. It's it won't be a bad thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Because this field is quite big, so I yeah I guess.
Alright guys, so I am about to finish this build as you can see. It took me some time because of the strange weeks. Uh, definitely you will also face this issue <laughs> when you try to play. And here you can see the bug which I was talking about a little bit earlier. So eh, I didn't even done planting field this field and you can see plants are already growing which is really disgusting and there is not a proper pattern of plants growing plants they just you know <laughs> pop out pop up for from some for some reason and if i talk about the year so this helper have <coughs> has almost yeah he has uh, harvested the whole field and uh, the harvester is not even full so this is the yield of the crop i'm sorry i i just uh, what the hell are you doing okay so i guess i should do this by myself and yet okay so this is the reason why i don't like this harvester anymore I mean come on guys look at how slow it is it's only working on 3 km per hour that is insane I mean who would like to drive such a slow and crappy thing it, it just don't move it's so disgusting the best way to use this harvest is to hide a helper now you will see and yeah see see how fast the helper is driving this thing I don't even know because I can't even see this video meter. Yeah, but to be honest, I for some reason I cannot handle this always at this moment. So it's best that uh, only helper drive this always. And to be honest, as soon as uh, the my game is reached, I'm actually you know making enough money to purchase the um, John Deere a John Deere combine. So, alright, so you can see one thing. Wait, maybe, wait a minute. Let's see what happens now. Wow. What the hell? So it's just freeze. What the hell? Why these controls are not working? Wow. By the way, um. What else we can do here today? Although this wheat field is also ready to harvest, probably we will harvest this field in the next gameplay. Or uh, maybe I will I, I start playing this game behind the scenes for a while. I don't know behind behind the recording. What what will you will use here? By the way, the thing is that uh, if I really want to make some money, I have to play this game more, a little bit more. Let me know if I should play this game without recording or not. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> wow, this is so... <laughs> Guys, see this. This is so insane. How it could be even possible? By the way, finally you finished the job and I'm going to finish this gameplay here. Hopefully you will enjoy this gameplay and if you do so, please make sure you leave, you leave a like and let me know uh, uh, if you, if I should play this game uh, behind without recording it or not so that I could make some money and I could move this game a little gameplay, let's play series a little bit forward. So I really need your suggestion in the comment section. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm pretty sure I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.